Welcome as we study God's word together. Uh, let's pray. We thank you, Lord, for your love for us and that you are the cure for our loneliness. That it is you ultimately, Lord, we need and long for. Satisfy that need with yourself by the Spirit, Lord, in your work on the cross. Oh, Jesus, speak to us now, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. This is David in Psalm 38, verse 11. My friends and companions stand aloof from my plague, and my nearest kin stand far off. There is a loneliness that we experience and know that can only be cured by God. Friends and family, even as helpful and caring as they may be, can't give us the relief that we need for our broken standing before God. At best, they can point us to the Lord. And here David is reflecting upon that. My friends and companions, they avoid me. My nearest kin, my closest family, they watch me from a distance. Friends, uh, friends are great help to us, especially as they point us to Jesus. Nothing can replace what the Lord offers us. And so uh, we are lonely without the Lord. The loneliness and the ache of our heart can only be satisfied by the Lord himself. So cry out to him, call upon him, and know that Jesus is sufficient to meet your every need. David, as he's pondering the impact and the effect that sin has upon his life, he realizes and knows that the one whom he is broken most before, the one whom he needs the most, is God. And so this isn't just a, a, a psalm that's talking about, oh, friends can fail us at the most the times of our deepest need. No, it isn't that friends fail us at our time of deepest need. It is that friends cannot replace God who meets our deepest need. Trust him and turn to him and know that God is faithful. He hears every cry. Jesus says, come to me, those who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest we will find the rest we need in Christ alone. I'll see you again next time.